as well as can be expected in the current predicament. Uh, I've seen both girls, I spent all day on Saturday with them and they were calm. Uh, I think now that I've left Peru and been unable to visit them on a regular basis, um, the reality will probably mm -hmm. kick in. Prison conditions um, are okay nice. and not as bad as we had were led to believe prior to going over to Peru. So that was a worthwhile visit for that reason alone, to get some comfort that sure. they have a, a bed and some space. They're not eight to a cell, etc., or sleeping mm -hmm. in corridors that we were told was possible. But maybe if they move to another prison, that could change. But mm -hmm. we've actually urged the authorities to keep them in this establishment of course, of and, course. and the two girls to remain together where possible. There is very little detective work done over there. They say they got girls with drugs in their case at the airport, and that's their case finished. But your daughter's saying that she's innocent. They're, they're still maintaining their innocence, that all this was done under coercion, and at all times that they were being followed and that their families were under threat if they'd to any point go and speak to anyone in authority. And what do you think of that story? The, 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 the Peru element of the story, I can follow and understand. Right. It's the Ibiza end that I would like more clarification on. Mm -hmm. I'm still not entirely sure about how she left Ibiza to go to, whether it was Madrid or Mallorca, mm -hmm. and then on to. So I would like more help from the Spanish authorities, and in fact, the British mm -hmm. police.